right guys, I know you're probably wondering, what in the world is our set doing playing this music? What's going on? We have love songs and all this stuff stem from one of the original gods and goddesses. And we're going to get into this love story today. All right, the next two up is Gab and Nut. Gab was the god of the earth. Now, I know in most traditions, everybody says that the earth is a female. But in ancient Kemet, they knew that the earth was masculine. Now, you got to stop and think for a minute. The earth represents what? The physical reality, right? The trees, the rocks, everything that you see. And if you think about masculine energy, men, males are typically physical. They're very physical creatures versus the females are normally the spiritual beings, which that explains Geb and Nut. Geb again was the earth. Nut, his sister wife, was the sky. When you think of the sky, you think of the spiritual plane because that's where your birds are and your stars are. And in fact, her body was literally lined with stars. But back to Gab. Well, all right, let's see how he fits in here. Number one, he's part of the Aeneid of Heliopolis. His grandfather was Atum, which is the first creator god we discussed. His father was Shu, which is the god of the air, and his mother was Tethnut, which is the goddess of moisture. As the god of the earth, his domain is the physical world. He literally supports the world, and he's constituted along with Nut, his sister, as the second generation in the Enid, the group of the nine gods. So when you see him in Egyptian art, He's typically portrayed as a man lying on his back. One knee is kind of cocked up. You're going to notice that his penis is erect and he's laid out. Again, he represents the earth. Now, why is the penis erect? Anytime you see that erect penis, that is creation. That's power. So I know like when the foreigners came over and they start seeing all these statues with these big penises and they were erect. That's what that represents because you have to think the penis is what gives life. That's the actual organ that shoots out the solar force, the energy of life. So therefore, that's why they drew him like that, to let you know that he was full of life, which is what the earth is. The earth is full of life. This was a snippet of our Real Talk episode. If you would like to hear the full episode in its entirety, please visit our website at www.thegoldenrace.org or click the link in the description box below.